So let's talk about data poisoning. There are two types of attack on machine learning models, poisoning and evasion. Poisoning is where you modify the training data to trick your model into learning badly. And this is what happened to Microsoft. Microsoft made a chat model, they put it on Twitter, and let it learn from the chat, and within a day, people trained it to say horrible, racist, and sexist, and abusive things. And so they trained it with bad data so it learned bad behavior. And that's what we're gonna do here. So, um, we're gonna prepare a classification model. Uh, this is the same model we've had before that takes some um, handwritten digits from zero through nine and is identifying the digits. So, let me just get this. And I'm going to move the instructions uh, down, and let's go here. Okay, let's get rid of this old one. File, move to trash, return to collab, and zoom in again, new notebook. All right, so here's the code that trains a model, the same thing we did before with the 60,000 and the 10,000 images. This is going to train the model. And then it's going to print out the first five results so we can see if it predicted them correctly. So it's preparing, setting up the RAM it needs and disk space it needs. Uh, then, it's, then it's starting executing code. And so we can see it's down here fetching the data. See the green arrow. From some kind of online repository in this library, which I guess is GitHub or something. I don't really know wherever it gets it from. It's a very standard model. This is one of like the hello worlds of machine learning. Everybody uses a few really popular models. Okay, now it's executed a bunch of it and it's done. So here's the information about it. And here's the first four. So seven, two, one, zero, and four. So the first five, it correctly predicted. So the model is trained up and doing a job of prediction. So, um, all right, let's view the predictions. Okay, this will um, count for the 1,000. It's going to take the test set. It's going to take the first 1,000 of the test set and decide whether the prediction was correct or not. And then it's going to print out whether it was correct or not for each of the 10 categories. So here, this is not a binary classifier. This is a 10-way classifier. It automatically figured out how to do it. And by the way, the way it does it, if you... The models we're using are intrinsically binary classifiers. So to make it into a 10-way classifier, there are two ways to do it. One is to have 10 binary classifiers, zero or not zero, one or not zero, one or not one, two or not two, and so on, and then have those 10 values to combine to decide what you have. The other way to do it is to compare pairs, one to two, one to three, one to four, and that's, then there's 45 different models, and it automatically chooses which of those would be better and trains it to create a multi-way classifier from a binary classifier. So here it is. The zeros are correct, 82, but only five are wrong. Only two of the ones are wrong. 12 of the twos are wrong, and so on. This shows me how good the model is uh, testing on, I think, 1,000. Yeah, I took 1,000 of the test data, so there's approximately 100 of each one, and you see how many were wrong of each of the 10 values here. So. And the, what we're going to do is we're going to poison it to get it to confuse one and two. So the only thing we need to remember here is right now it's getting two ones wrong and 12 twos wrong. And we're going to poison the training data to um, try to influence that. So here's the summary of the training and testing set. So add another block of code. All right. And so here's the... The training data has this many and testing data have that, so you can see how big they are. Um, and so the training data has 221s and 198 twos. And what we're going to do is change the labels so some of these ones are labeled as twos. That's going to be the poisoning attack. So first we're going to poison 10 of the ones. And then retrain the model and see how much its accuracy degrades. So that's what this is going to do. All right, so what it's going to do is the number poisoned is zero. It's going to go through the 2,000 that we used to train, and it's going to change, if it's one, it's going to change it to two. So it's going to mislabel it for the just 10 items. And then it's going to repeat, um, I think, it, I'm not sure if we trained it or we just counted. All right, there we are. Then it's going to retrain the model. So, and so before, 
it was 221s and 198.2s. After poisoning, it's 210.1s and 208.2s. So I took 10 of the 1s and turned them into 2s. All right, and that, I think, was just showing the, um, the effect of moving it. Yeah, we didn't do the training yet. That was just poisoning the data. Now we're going to run the model on the poison data. All right. And so there it is. Okay. And so when it's done, here's the result. And now, remember, it was 2 wrong and 12 wrong before. Now it's only 2 wrong and 11 wrong. So poisoning 10 elements did not make the model any worse at all. It did not cause it to make more mistakes. It, in fact, caused it to make less mistakes. So that's pretty uh, surprising. But what it means is, I guess, we're still in the noise. So we need to try poisoning more. So we could go back to here. And let's try poisoning more. Um, the number of poisoning was here. So I changed the poisoning to 30 and run this. Now you see this was 220, but it went down to 190. The number of twos was 190. It went up to 228. Now I poisoned 30 of the input data. And so if I train from this one, Now I get 2 and 13. Remember, the clean model was 2 and 12. So I get a little bit more errors, but still not very much. So, you know, the thing to do is try even bigger numbers. So if I tried, like, um, say, 80, I should get even more effect. Let's poison 80 of the input. So now, instead of having 221s, there's only 141s. Instead of 198.2s, there's 278.2s. I've now taken about a third of them and given the wrong label. And if I train on that poison model, now it's finally making more errors. It was 2 and 12 wrong. Now it's 3 and 18 wrong. I'm finally getting more errors between the 1s and the 2s because of the poisoning. So that's poisoning the input. Now this is a very sloppy poisoning attack. We're going to do much better ones later. But this is one simple to understand kind of poisoning attack. But as you can see, not a terribly effective one. So I'm going to stop this recording.